So this is like take 800 of me doing this favorites video. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I apologize for how long I've been gone, how long it's taken me to make a video, but I'm not really going to go into detail about it because this is probably the fifth time that I've told you all that. And I'm really going to be making an effort to have a schedule for my YouTube channel from now on. So we're going to jump right in to my October favorites. Yeah, I, I have things coming to my channel that I really want to try to do. I have friends who've mentioned that I they want me to, to do a, what is that video called? A story time video. Um, I put a lot of my life and stuff on my Snapchat. So that's why like vlogging and stuff is really difficult for me because I'm like, it's already on there. Like everybody already sees it. But if that's something that you guys really want to see, then go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. It'll let me know or comment in the comments bar, whatever you want to do. Right, so. so first things first, I have been super dry. Like my face has been dry and my hands. And this Cetaphil moisturizer is something that I've really been liking on my face. It says it's an oil control moisturizer with sunscreen and a broad spectrum SPF of 30. The main reason that I bought this is because it's formulated for acne prone skin, which I go to a dermatologist. I have medications that I use on my skin for my acne and it's cleared up pretty nicely since I've gone back from my deployment. Um, so whenever my face is oily, I turn to this. The only thing that I can say that I don't like about this is it costs an arm and a leg. I just don't like going to any drugstore and paying a lot of money and this was seriously like between 15 and 17 dollars if I remember right but I have had it since this summer and it's nowhere close to being empty it's only like down to here so I really like that I just put it on before my makeup and the next moisturizing thing that I like is this 24 hour moisture ultra shea body cream this isn't in my favorites because of like the type of moisturizer that it is. It's from Bath and Body Works. I'm pretty sure I've showed this type of thing in a lot of other videos, but I had this in my favorites because the smell of this, it says perfect autumn day. It's really perfect. Um, it's just the most perfect scent for fall. I can't explain it. It has pictures of leaves and grass and stuff on the front. It doesn't smell like leaves to me. It just smells like fall. It's really pretty smelling and I have been loving that. I feel like I always have to go back to something from a long time ago and this has been my palette of choice for the fall. I love out of all of the palettes that they have this one is definitely my favorite because I feel like I can get the most use out of it. I'm going to show you guys like you've never like you've never seen it before. But my favorite colors are definitely um, Dark Horse and then Half Baked and Hustle. Those are my favorite colors. And then usually I mix them with some of my MAC eyeshadows as well. But if you're going to spend money on one of these palettes, this one by far is the best one. Get this one. The last two... Why does my nose always itch when I'm filming? The last two uh, makeup items that I have to show you are both kind of in the same. I guess one's one's drugstore foundation and the other one is not. It's high end. So I'll show you the drugstore one first. Everybody knows about this product. L'Oreal Infall Infallible Pro Matte. I'm in the color 108 right now. When I bought this, I never really wore it because I just couldn't, I couldn't grasp the hype. I couldn't comprehend why everybody was raving about this. I still don't really get it, but it's just been working for me lately um, for the looks that I've been doing. I've been really liking it for fall. Uh, I feel like I put it on and it almost is like, instantly powder which is difficult for me to deal with so I've been using my hands to apply it and if I don't use my hands I only use a beauty blender because 
I usually use a Sigma brush and the brushes just it just dries too quickly for that. It just doesn't look good with those brushes. So usually I use my hands. Uh, then I also have been loving Makeup Forever's Duo Matte Powder. And this powder actually has like a million uses because when I did not, when I first got this, I did not buy it for a foundation, to be completely honest. I bought it um, for setting like my nose and my chin because my oils were just out of control this summer. And they recommended that I use it in... They recommended that I use it in as a wet, a wet form. Is that how I should say that? I feel like I just said that really weird. They recommended that I wet my brush and then use it, which is why it looks really grody because that's what I was doing over the summer. But that was just a part of it that got wet, so I kind of, I kind of ruined it. But um, I now just take the little pad that's in the bottom and I dip it in there, put it all over my face, and then brows, mascara. Um, contour and my blush and I'm good to go so I've been really liking it to get in and get out the door and I am in the color okay it doesn't say what color it just says it says 209 on the back I can't remember what color it is but I know that I like this if I figure out what color I'll put it in the bottom bar too like everything else so the last thing that I'm gonna show you guys because I'm trying to keep these videos short and sweet is my new e3-in-1 curling wand this is the middle barrel these are so amazing I have the Titan 3 kit and the color that I bought I honestly don't know where I got this color um, I thought it was just unique and different but they have so many options and I used to think that this was just hyped up on YouTube because I don't know people were getting paid to mention it but these curling wands are no joke like seriously this is how I have my hair um styled today I got my hair colored it's like ombre I don't know if you guys can tell it's ombre and biologed right now um so I've been using this literally almost every day because it looks really good with ombre hair so I really like that and I also use the smaller barrel sometimes but this one has been getting the most use and like I said it's the middle barrel so that is all for my favorites videos I'm going to try to be getting up videos throughout the week hopefully I will hopefully I will stay up and about on my YouTube channel and there won't be extreme moments of absence on it anymore so thank you guys so much for watching and for staying tuned and let me know in the comments if there's any other videos that you guys would like to see from my channel um i oh i haven't been to the gym in forever but i definitely am going to be starting back on monday so prepare yourself for videos and food and stuff like that on my channel so i'm gonna go and i will see you guys soon